Good morning, everyone. It's almost six in the morning. Um, yesterday, or last night, I was up until two. And I'm gonna figure it out why the baby was crying. So I asked, asked for help to nurse and they took over the baby <laughs> so I can sleep. I don't know how moms handle this. So anyways, today I'm leaving the hospital at 11. Um, Paul was picking me up and the baby. I'm so excited for him to see him for the very first time. But at the same time, I'm so scared to leave the hospital. Like I won't have any help like I do right now. When I get lost, I can just ask right now, but I can't anymore. Like me and Pablo have to handle this all on our own. So it's six and I have a breakfast at eight. I think I need to clean this room up until then. The final doctor checkup at eight and i'm gonna like do all the payments and everything and i am leaving the place <sighs> oh. good morning y'all it's been a long five days in quarantine waiting for michael and the baby to arrive but today is finally the day they're coming home and i finally get to see my baby boy i'm just so so excited oh, yeah gotta breathe I'm gonna take you through today the whole entire experience and I don't know I'm just mixed with all these emotions it's been like we've been you know talking on video chat this entire time but it just you know I just wanted to hold him and see his little face I'm so excited so I actually have to prepare the house a little bit um, before they come also it seems like Michael is not 100% to breastfeed yet it looks like after a few days just today she started getting some milk out of her breast but not completely so we still need to give some milk to our son luckily we got a present from one of you guys um, so thank you so much yeah I will take you on this journey okay so I think um, we received this from a friend I'm not quite sure but I think this is the sterilized unit that we're gonna need I think we have these bottles right here yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think this is it. Anyways, I mean, the last thing I want to do is poison our son, so I don't know. We'll just have to work it out. And then we also have this. It's supposed to like make milk automatically. Like a coffee machine or, you know, espresso machine for baby milk. It's supposed to allow you to choose the temperature as well as like how much um, milk you make. So I think it should be useful for a new baby boy. For now, since the rice cooker is here, let's just move this this, uh, this guy. All right, so the last thing I need to do is make sure they're welcome when they come home. I was thinking of like getting some signs and stuff, but I don't know. I'm more of an IT guy, so here's what we're gonna do. So that's the first piece, and then... All right, so the flowers are the last piece. I think we're good to go now. Let's go pick up Maiko and our new baby boy. So I just finished the doctor checkup. Nothing is wrong. My blood pressure is kind of high, but it's going down. And the scar recovery is really fast, he said. And also my shrinkage of Shikyu is really fast. For my age especially, I'm like 35, so um, I'm happy about that. And now I'm waiting for the bathing um, training. And I'm good to go. Mm, I'm so excited. So I'm here, I just got to the station, about to pick up Maiko and our baby, feeling super anxious. Anyways, have the whole rest of our lives ahead of us. For those of you who've had to go through this quarantine and have had to have a baby during this time, I feel your pain. I wish no one would have to ever go through this, but it's just how it is, I guess. I'm waiting for my son now. I think he's here. Hello. 
Oh, hey, little guy. Yeah, I'm your daddy. 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 Hey, smile. <laughs> Yay. It's me and you from now on, little dude. <laughs> so how was this day? Um, it was, how do you say? Was it lonely? It was more like I was fighting with my own pain. Uh, the atojinsu. Yeah. My stomach is shrinking. Yeah. And that caused crazy amount of pain. And like I, I was just talking to, to the nurse about it. Yeah. Just like they're so me like just holding the pain like crying and they gave me like stronger medicine but it got better and now like I'm just taking regular painkillers so they helped me so much we're finally together one family one family <laughs> What's interesting about Japan is you don't actually need to have a car seat when you ride a taxi or the train but if you ride a car on your own or if you drive a car on your own then you do need a car seat. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You think we can end it here? Okay. My butt hurts. <laughs> He's finally home today. I'll continue vlogging. Catch us probably in the next day or two. I'll post the next video of what happens the rest of the day. He's finally home in my arms. And he's just looking at this new world inside his new house. Yay, oh. So quiet. Welcome home, buddy.